Let's see. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date that is the last day of May. No, the last day of April. It's April 30th of uh, 2019. It's almost 6 p.m. We've got some severe weather in this area right now that's going through. Uh, let me see here. Um, well, they've updated Microsoft Edge Insider again. So we want to go here to start page. We want to go to um, radio. Audio top fifty. I'll feed. Eagle Mountain, that's where they're saying the storm appears to be. Can I turn off my cell phone feed? This is a reminder. Medication. Okay, we are not getting the audio feed here online. No. We need to change the player. Oh, okay, no, that is. Oh, I see they're offline. Eagle Mountain is, but we're here in Fort Worth.
Anyway. Let's get on with some. I'm watching the local TV channel over there. Was that an email message? Let's see. Thirty. That's about thirty minutes ago. So this is thirty minutes ago. Uh, weather. That's not what I wanted to do, though. Let's go back over here. And I wanted to go to. Okay, I lost my main page. Right, heck with this. We'll just do this. If we can get. Oh, okay, now we can. Let's see. Um, Amazon. Okay, I ordered. It'll be here tomorrow. Go to orders. I ordered this mouse. I have the 602 here. It is wireless and I uh, it's a it's a nice it is a nice mouse and I, I recommend it. It's uh, the Logitech 602, but I have ordered the G502 and it's wired. And of course it will also be lit. And uh, it should be here tomorrow. And the software is, there it is. This is the software for my current mouse, of course, and for the keyboard that I'm using, and it will be for the uh, mouse that I'm going to get tomorrow, and it's also the software for my Logitech camera. So, so, uh, ooh, my screen is Black. Um, I hear it. Siren. That's okay. I hear the horn, so that's the uh, that's the fire department. Fort Worth. Here we go. Actually, Fort Worth and Northeast Tarrant County Fire. Engine 32, engine 30, engine 16, Queens 16, battalion 5, battalion 2, safety 1, respond on channel 2, apartment fire, 9200 Colt Street, 9200 Colt Street, Cross Street, Maverick Street. Math 73, John. Ooh, apartment fire. That's not good. 
this apartment uh, complex that I live in in West Fort Worth, uh, I slept through it over not a not a real big fire truck right from here is responding also. Um, it's not a, I'm down a little bit here. Um, one of the apartment buildings in here caught fire back a few years ago. And, uh, oh, just... Totally, nobody was injured, but uh, apparently one of the tenants, you're not supposed to, well, not just for here, but like it's, I'm not sure if you call them city ordinances or it's just uh, regulations concerning them, you know, but you're not supposed to, you know, put the barbecue on your, uh, outside your patio, you know, on your, we have little patios here that are right up next to the, anyway, he uh, was barbecuing or something and he wasn't even, I think he left the, you know, the, uh, and anyway, it took out the entire building. Nobody was injured. And I don't know if he didn't have a cell phone or what, but right at the exit gate here of the uh, apartment complex, you know, there's an entrance that you come into gated, and there's an exit you go out to right at the exit, right there, <laughs> is number 23 fire station. So he went ran, ran over there knocking on their door, you know. We are, but our computer doesn't seem to be taking command. Put it responding. It's a 16 and round. Let's see, what do we have? Can't show that. I'm still on hold trying to get a hold of them. Station 51 24 South Hill. We will need that, sir. Oh, Looking for a radar, weather radar thing. I know I have it. Something they asked for you. Here it is. Road to 6398 East Loop 820 South. Service road southbound, southbound. Cross Street, College Little Road. Map 93, Paul, number 930. 26, major accident, 6144, South Newland Street, 6124, South Newland Street. Cross Street, Wall Raven Circle, Map 89. I don't really care for this uh, display. Let's see if I can change it here. Looking to see if I have a better uh, weather app. I mean, I have five or six on my cell phone. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now here's the same one that says ad free. Call 5205 Dorman Street. 5205 Dorman Street. Cross Street East Seminary Drive. Map 92. It does weekend. the same thing. No, I will uninstall that when I get a chance. Drive, Cross Drive, Eagle Drive, Oxtero 
Let's see. Vehicle, uh, uh, truck, excuse me, small silver sedan and a white Ford Explorer. Yeah, I'll just go to, uh, a little bit better. Safety one's available radio. Medic for all one, for medic for all one. Yellow and close circle, go ahead and thank you. Medic for all two, you clear. Medic for all two, receive. Yeah, there's one of the strongest winds on uh, Roku TV. Six. Major accident, 6124 South Ulan Street, 6124 South Ulan Street, Street Wall Raven Circle, Map 89 William. Forecast. Let's see. Looks like uh, my old state of <clears throat> Missouri is catching it. You're going to. Looks like we're sending it from Texas right up there to Missouri. Metropolitan areas. Go to, uh, whoops, Kansas City. That'll be it. Let's see. Miami County, Kansas. Lafayette County, Missouri. Cass County. My old county. Cass County Fire and EMS Department. Let's see if we can get uh, Cass Fount County uh, Fire and EMS Departments, Gladstone, Johnson County Skywarn, 
Let's go with Kansas City Weather. NOAA, the Weather Bureau. This is Kansas City, Missouri. KID 77. I don't hear. Oh, it says it's starting. Okay. It says reconnecting. Starting again. I think we have a. I think we have a problem with this app. At least in this. Let's go back to. Uh, Emeritus, Pomona, Old, Quinemo, Melbourne, Lone Star, Neosha Rapids, Redding, Olivet, and Pleasant Grove. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are possible in the warned area. This includes the following highways, Interstate 35 between mile markers 128 and 198, Kansas Turnpike between mile markers 117 and 144. Turn around. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 10.15 p.m. for the following county, Douglas, Kansas. Johnson County Skywarn Ham Repeater. Um, anyway, this is probably boring to you, isn't it? Oops. Exit. Anyway, looks like uh, I think my audio is working using the uh, Blue Yeti mic. Well, let me pull up uh, CNN just to get an idea of what's going on in the world here. Venezuela, problems in River City. Been another shooting, two dead after shooting on the campus of the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Well, let's go over here. There's an uprising, I guess, underway in Venezuela. An ex-school bus driver pleaded guilty raping a 14-year-old girl. He got probation. How is that possible? That's not possible. A school bus driver A 
An ex-school bus driver pleaded guilty of raping a 14-year-old girl. He got probation. A former school bus driver who pleaded guilty to raping a 14-year-old girl will not receive any prison time, according to the sentence handed down by a New York Supreme Court judge. The victim was 14 years old when she was assaulted uh, outside the upstate New York City of Watertown. Yeah, he's 25. He waived indictment in February and was sentenced last Thursday to probation for 10 years. He must register as a, register as a level one sex offender and pay a fee of $1,425. He pleaded guilty to third degree rape. Oh, I was gonna say that level one, but it says here that, I thought, you know, says here a level one offender is a low risk of re of offense. I was thinking, you know, like level one to you know level one I thought would be uh, he met the victim as a school bus driver and maintained communication with her on social media. Oh, okay, well Then he invited her. Okay, so he, I, he didn't rape her on the bus or when she got off, the, you know, but still. He invited her to his home. Pride her with alcohol. That's an offense, you know, that's an offense. And uh, I don't know. He doesn't look, you know, he didn't look very swift, did he? I mean, you know. Teen suicide rate spiked after 13 reasons why. I, I don't, I think that's, I don't know if that's a movie or a TV show. Trump ignores hints to hang up the phone. I have no idea what that is. A Fox business anchor struggled to get President Trump to hang up at the end of the... You're dying to get someone off the phone? Well, imagine that someone is the president. I know you have to run, but... It's that old ploy. You don't have time to keep talking to me. I don't yeah. know where these people the come from, Maria. Boy, I tell you, it wasn't so, my neighborhood. Well, these are, these yeah. they have no common I sense. Question, Mr. President. Unless, honestly, unless they hate the country. It can make an anchor look like a fish gasping for air time. Mr. President, before well, you see, go, all of this publicity is you know, people see this and they say, hey, maybe we, they, yeah. they start learning. And this was Maria Bartiromo on Trump friendly Fox Business. She finally just asked. Mr. President, I know you have to run. The exact same thing happened a year ago. Give it. Mr. I think President. we're doing very well. Let's see what happens. Okay, uh, we're running out of time. The clock was running, but so was the president's mouth until finally. We talked to you all day, but it looks like you have a million things to do. He got the president off the phone like an annoying relative. Two dead after shooting on the campus of the University of North Carolina. Well, it's been fun. Thank you very much for watching.